The Lakers played the New Orleans Pelicans last night. They blew a 23-point lead, ultimately lost 116 to 108. And now they slid into the 10th spot in the Western Conference. And it begs the question, can this team actually make the playing turn? Because at the moment, they're half a game back the Pelicans, and they're only a game ahead of the San Antonio Spurs for that 10th and final spot. Now, last night, they led 69-49 at the half. They're up by 20. They got outscored 41-25 in the third quarter. They got outscored 26-14 in the fourth. LeBron had 25 in the first half, played a flawless first half, had 39 points, nine rebounds, five assists, played 42 minutes yesterday. And understandably, he's in his 19th season in the league. He's 37. He faded down the stretch, which is to be expected at that age, logging the types of minutes and the kind of minutes that he is. So to make matters worse, now it's reported that his he says his ankle feels horrible. He retweaked it against the Pelicans. Now, Malik Monk did drop 23. Russell Westbrook had a, had a decent game with 18.7 rebounds, 6 assists, but has never been playing like the superstar that we expected to see. He hasn't been able to take over basketball games this year. And LeBron is hurt. And obviously, he seems like he's been ailing the entire year. He's been dealing with a knee ailment for stretches of the season. This is like the second or third time he's kind of tweaked an ankle this year. And it almost makes you wonder whether or not he should just sit out at least one game against the Dallas Mavericks just to try to heal up a little bit before the final seven games of the season. Obviously, he's not going to do that. To his credit, he's able to power through. But that's what's looming ahead. That's what's daunting. And when you look at this Western Conference race down the stretch, for the Lakers, their final eight games of the season, at Dallas, at Utah, versus New Orleans, versus Denver, at Phoenix, at Golden State, versus OKC, and at Denver. That's looking like a 4-4 four and four best case scenario. And obviously with LeBron hobbled, maybe worse, likely worse of an overall record. So I'm not too confident in that stretch for them. Now, for the San Antonio Spurs... They've got at Rockets versus Memphis, two times at Portland, or two times versus Portland, at Denver, at Minnesota, versus Golden State, and at Dallas. They're probably going to go four and four, but they could potentially go five and three. The Lakers and the Spurs split the season series, so the edge doesn't go to one side. But the Spurs have a better conference record. And at and after head to head, you look at the conference record and the Spurs are four games clear of the Lakers in that department. So that's concerning. That's really concerning if you were the Lakers. Now the Pelicans, they go at Portland, at Lakers, at Clippers, at Sacramento, versus Portland, at Memphis, and versus Golden State. They too probably go four and four, but they could potentially go five and three. They won the season series. They clinched the season series against the Lakers. So they're probably safe. So it's really probably going to come down to the Lakers and the Spurs, although I still think the Lakers will probably beat the Trailblazers, uh, not the Trailblazers, but the Pelicans at home when they play them again. But this is the problem is I think the Lakers are, are barely going to just make the 10th spot. And again, that's an optimistic view given the fact that now LeBron is even more injured than we previously thought. He said that he feels horrible, and he's not sure how he finished that game against the Pelicans. Well, if he doesn't drop 25 in the first half, Lakers are probably down 20 as opposed to up 20. And you factor that in over the next several games of the year, the final eight games of the season, and it looks pretty bleak. Looks pretty bleak right now to suspect, to assume that they're going to qualify for the playing turn. I think they barely hang on to the 10th spot, but it, it's coming down to the wire. And, and, and 
I'm losing faith in their ability to do it. We don't have an update on Anthony Davis when he might return. So it's a bit concerning. It's a bit concerning right now. So I don't think they're going to climb ahead of the Pelicans. I really don't. I do think they will manage to stave off elimination and kind of keep the Spurs at bay just barely. They'll probably eke them out by a game. But if they end up finishing with the same overall record, I think the edge goes to the Spurs because they got the better conference record. So we'll see.